I just came from a meeting where a gentleman said to me that he was sleepless. And I said, you know, what's going on? Is it, is it work? Is it family? He said, a lot's going on at work. And then he began to tell me about how he's been up since 3.30 a.m. And the reality is, is that he is getting kicked out. He's getting replaced. He's getting told that he's no longer going to be employable. And this gentleman is fantastic. He's a great worker. He's ethical. He's done everything right. He was the perfect employee. But this is not uncommon, where you get to be a certain age and then pretty much you are told you're done. Sometimes you get a package when you leave. Sometimes you get the door slammed on your butt. How do you prevent this? How do you protect yourself? Because we live in a day and age where I hear this often. Great, faithful men and women are told literally one day that they are a key part of the team and the next day they're done. And there's a lot of things that go on with our mindset. Like, are we worth it? Do we have what it takes? Are we suddenly obsolete? Here's what I tell people all the time. In fact, I asked this gentleman, have you read my book, Day Job to Dream Job? He said, it's on the shelf, but I'm gonna start reading it today. I talk about in that book, a freelancer mindset. I tell people that you either have a long-term contractor mindset or you have a freelancer mindset. And you can actually have a freelancer mindset while you're employed in a normal, typical job. The point is this, it, go, it, it has everything to do with your mindset, not your environment. Because you can be a freelancer and yet still be in a nine to five job. What it means is that you approach your work differently. You no longer depend upon the job, the boss. You essentially treat yourself like you're serving one large billable client. And the truth is that any day with a billable client, when you're a freelancer, you can fire that that client. And I tell people, it's almost this flip, almost this switch, where instead of you being hired by the boss, the man, the, the company, you now are the boss, the man, the company, and you are actually taking on a large client. It totally switches things. And it's necessary because otherwise we get too dependent. People told me all the time when I was gonna leave my day job, wow, that's really risky to have one, uh, uh, you know, in, in, instead of having a safe job, a steady paycheck, all these words that talk about comfort, comfort and safety, I heard what they were saying, but then I realized that, you know what? What's more risky? To have 50 clients that, you know, one or two or three or five or 10 can decide they no longer want you and you still have income coming in? Or is it more risky to put all your chips on one client, meaning your employer, and for any reason whatsoever, you go in and the next day you're done. I think it's much more risky to have that long-term contractor mindset. So I wanna challenge you today. What is your backup plan? What is your safety net? Don't wait until you have the the ax, you know, at your at your day job before you decide what your backup plan is. The the amount of people that have side hustles today is unbelievable. There was a period where it tripled in five years just here in America. That literally the amount of people who had who have a side hustle tripled in just five years between, uh, I believe it was 2011 and 2015, somewhere in there. The point is this, it's becoming more of the norm. People are making the income from multiple uh, streams and no longer do you need to put all your eggs in one basket. In fact, I think it's unwise, but it has everything to do with your mindset because that's where it all begins is the thoughts that you have. 
This is Kerry Oberbrunner. If you've gotten the ax recently, pick up the book, Day Job to Dream Job. You will find in there nine steps to help you go pro with your passion. And again, my heart grieves for these people because I see these, not always older, but I see these older men and women, at least currently, you can just see the fear in their eyes. You can see the panic. You can see the confidence that's been rocked, that's been shaken. And I'm not saying we're ever bulletproof, we are human, but you can insulate yourself from a lot of that sideways energy, that negativity that springs up when we suddenly get the news that we're done. I believe in you, go make it happen today. We'll talk soon.